Hello everyone, it's Hindash and this is Timmy. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, it's such an exciting video for me because Vogue magazine, Vogue Arabia, asked me to recreate one of their magazine covers. That's crazy. <laughs> so they asked me to recreate this cover and I was like, yes, let's do it. It's lighter, it's nude lips, it's everything I love. So of course I had to get my friend Cami and I was like, let's do this. Let Let's do this. <laughs> and of course I had to adapt the look a bit to suit Cami and as you would adapt any look to suit your own face. I had so much fun creating this look. So if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you'd wanna see, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. All right, so we have Cami again, so exciting. And as always, I'm gonna be starting off with skincare. And I'm just prepping the skin with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. And then I'm gonna go in with the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum in darker skin tones. Now this is the one that I personally use and I love it. I have finished this. So I really do enjoy her products. I think they, they work really well for my skin type, actually. They feel very thin. They feel very weightless on the skin. So again, a hyaluronic acid serum is just going to draw all that hydration in. And then I'm going to be going in with moisturizer. And for moisturizer, I'm also going to be using the Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream Light. And I finished this too. I love it so much. It's just a very lightweight moisturizer. It's perfect if you have normal to oily skin. I'm oily sensitive and I really, really do love this moisturizer. So I'm just rubbing that in and I'm putting it on the neck as well. Don't forget the neck. I'm just tapping it in. For eye cream, I'm taking the Dr. Barbara Sturm eye cream. And again, this is very lightweight, super thin. It's perfect for makeup. It's perfect for just if you don't want that heavy under eye cream feel, which I don't. To prep her lips, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm and just applying a generous layer all over her lips and letting that sink in as I do the rest of the makeup. For primer, I'm going to be taking the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. I don't think I've ever used this on my YouTube, but I use it all the time. It's such a good primer. It again has that hydrating feel, but it just makes your skin look amazing and makeup sits on top of this really great. For foundation, I'm going to be taking one of my all-time favorites. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and this is the shade Barcelona. And I'm going to be applying that in very thin layers as always. And I'm starting on the outside of the face and then working my way in. And just tapping and buffing that in gently. And as you can see, it just makes skin look like skin. And NARS really nails undertones. They do color so well, and I love, I love their skin stuff. I love NARS for base. And if there's anything that shows through the skin, it's fine. Don't worry, because we're going to be using concealer. That's what concealer is for. I love foundation just to unify the skin and give you an even skin tone. And as I get to the forehead, I'm going to be using very little because I don't want that area to look very made up and very cakey. For contouring, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha. These are my favorite kind of cream contours and cream bronzers. And I'm going to be shaping the face with that and just adding more dimension to the face and the skin and contouring at the same time. So jawline, cheekbones on the nose and the forehead, just a bit on the forehead because Cami has a very small forehead. So mainly on the temples. And I'm going to be taking my foundation brush again. Now I do this all the time because the foundation brush already has foundation on it. And that's a trick I always tell you guys about. If you find that cream products blend kind of hard, Take your foundation brush, it already has product on it, and it's going to blend everything like a dream. Try it. And taking my time buffing that in and working it into the skin so that everything looks seamless. So I've been thinking of doing a couple of videos where I sit and react to my older videos. I mean, not super old, but it's going to be something like what I would have done differently because, you know, doing makeup for YouTube and for the camera, you roll back the footage and things can look a bit different. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I think that's going to be really fun. For concealer, taking one of my all-time favorites. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Macadamia, which is actually my color. I think me and Cami have very similar skin tones. And I'm applying that to conceal and to highlight at the same time. So very strategically. And then I'm going to be blending everything in with a damp beauty blender and just tapping that into the skin and pushing that product in. Because I don't want to take away any of the coverage, so I want to tap and press. And I definitely go through phases of using a beauty blender for concealer and then using a brush. But for clients, I feel like I do reach for a beauty blender more because it does do a lot of different things. It's very multi-purpose. And I'm going to be setting everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. With a fluffy brush, I'm just going to pat that into the skin so we're not baking. 
we are just pressing that product and setting that cream. Just because I don't want to bake on Cami with this look, I don't think it needs it. For bronzer, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in Private Island. And I'm basically going through all the areas where I've done the cream bronzing and cream contouring with the match sticks. So literally going to follow all the areas where I've contoured. For cream blush, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD blush palette. And I'm dipping into the peachy tones and the light pink. With my same foundation brush, I'm going to be tapping that pretty high up on the cheekbones and blending them into the cheek as well. So pretty high up. I really like placing blush this way. It just lifts the face. And taking a bit on the forehead and the nose just to give you that healthy glow. For contour and highlight, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow in light to medium. I'm taking the contour side and going over the nose. So same areas where I've contoured just to give me more of that shadow, that shadowy tone. And then I'm taking the highlight tone. I really love this highlight. It's super soft but very effective. And I'm placing that on the tip of the nose and the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin. It's a very soft highlight and I actually love using this on the nose. For eyes, we're gonna keep it super simple, taking my MAC Lay In Low Paint Pot, which I absolutely love. And if I could use this in every video, I would. I probably do actually. And I'm just gonna be placing that all over the lid as a base and this does color correct as well because it has a peachy undertone. For brows, I'm taking my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number four. Cami has great brows, so I'm just going to be concentrating that on the outer part, just to define and make that outer edge more crisp. And I feel like when you do that, it really ties the brow together and makes it look very neat. Even when you can keep the front a bit more messy. And then because I want that kind of fluffy effortless look, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Supermodel. This is tinted. And going through the brow and then kind of just wisping that in the front of the brow. And it's going to give me dimension and kind of hair-like strokes, which I want for this look. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking my Viseart Neutral Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. And just going all over the lid with a neutral nude that matches Cami's skin. And then I'm going to take more of a taupey brown and then concentrating that on the crease. Just to give me a bit of definition and a contour to the eye and doing the same steps on the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm going to be taking the NARS Climax Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. Just running it through the lashes, and I'm going to let Cami do the work as well, just so she can get really in there. And as you can see, it's like an intense difference. I love this mascara. And I'm going to take a bit of a fan brush and go on the lower lashes. This is the trick that I love to do to avoid that lower lash clumpy look. Now for the liner, I'm going to be taking my liner that is discontinued, so sorry, but you can, use any, you can use any other liner that you love. And I want this liner to be very thick. I want it to be very present and very there. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the wing and then dragging it along the lashes, making her look straight so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to trace that all along the lashes. Now with this liner, think kind of old Hollywood, very thick, very pinup-like but kind of a bit of an Amy Winehouse lift, but we're not taking it completely there. So it is gonna be a very straight edge liner. I'm gonna be thickening the outer wing slowly and making her look straight ahead so I see what I'm doing and see where I'm gonna be taking that liner. So the goal is that I'm going to be basically covering pretty much the entire lid with that liner. So like I said, it's gonna be very intense. And I am gonna be taking a bit of a brush just to make things neat. I'm going to be highlighting her freckles and beauty marks with the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Dark Drapes and taking that inky stain side to do that. I love it so much. For powder blush, we're going to be sticking with a classic. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush because it's going to add a bit of that healthy, uh, highlighty sheen to the skin and basically over the areas where I've put the cream blush. So a bit on the forehead as well. For lip liner, I'm going to be taking the MAC Oak Lip Pencil. I love this. It's a very neutral brown. And I'm going to be aligning her lips and overlining them slightly. And I'm going to be going for a classic neutral nude lip. And because I put that thick layer of lip balm on, the lip liner is just gliding on like a dream. So that's a really good uh, tip for using a lip balm before you start your makeup so that it really sinks in and gets your lips very hydrated. And as you can see, this lip liner really works for her skin tone. For lips, I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in JK Magic, and I'm going to be dabbing that all over the lips. 
it's a very beautiful creamy nude i'm going to be blending that in with a lip brush as well just so i can really work it in with the lip liner and work it into the lip itself because i am going to layer another lip on top and this is the charlotte tilbury hepburn honey which is actually one of my favorite charlotte tilbury nudes not a lot of people talk about this and i think it's such a beautiful color it's a bit on the sheer side it's very glossy it's very creamy and i love putting that on top of a nude for highlighter i'm taking the ofra cosmetics rodeo drive highlighter and i'm going to use that strategically again over the areas where i've highlighted just to give me that extra intensity because it is a very intense highlight so a bit on the inner corners and of course on the cheekbones going for full intensity so beautiful i haven't used these before this is the first time i've used an ofra highlighter and i'm going to be setting everything with the mac fix plus in rows and that completes the look i really hope you guys enjoyed it i love doing this on cami and i loved having her back and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know what you'd want to see next and i'll see you guys very soon bye